This is a video demonstration of module 8 written by Muhammad Yunus and John O'Brien. It describes assembling housing parts in SOLIDWORKS. The assembly comprises of three parts. First, as a housing body. Second, as a plain bush. And the third, a bushing. We'll try to assemble these three parts in SOLIDWORKS 2018 version. We'll keep the first part open, which is the housing body. We click on New on the standard toolbar. Select the file type as assembly. Click OK. Let's close this. Let us style all the windows that are open horizontally from the menu option window. Style horizontally. The window on the top is an assembly file. The window below is for the part file of housing body. To include the parts in an assembly file, Click on the file name in the feature manager design tree of the part file. Drag it and drop it into the feature manager design tree of the assembly file. The first part that is inserted in the assembly file is fixed to the origin of the assembly file. Also. The planes get aligned to the standard planes of the assembly file. The planes of the part file are aligned to the planes in the assembly file. The part is fixed along all six degrees of freedom, that is, along linear movement along x, y, and z, the rotational movement along about the axis x, y, and z. We have the letter F before the file name within parentheses indicating that the part is fixed. Maximize the window for the assembly file. To include the other components in this assembly file, go over the assembly toolbar, select insert components in the property manager for insert component click on browse select the part file of plain bush so open and drop it in the screen for the assembly file the second component that has been included in this assembly file is free to move around x, y, and z and the rotational axis of x, y, and z. This can be observed from the sign before the part file that it says it's underdefined, and you can also look at that from the assembly toolbar. You have the option the command move component. Select the part and try to move it along X, Y and the Z direction. It's free to move in all three directions. You can also rotate it by clicking on the rotate component under assembly toolbar and then try to spin it about the Y axis, the X and the Z axis. It is free to move in all the six degrees of freedom. We now add mate relations between the second part and the first part. The bushing needs to fit in the cylindrical hole coming on the right bottom side of the housing body. It goes into the cylindrical hole. Into the, of the boss. 
you may click on meet on the assembly toolbar in the property manager for the mate we find the mate selection the window is active with the blue color as a background color assign the face of the external cylindrical wall as the first selection the face coming from the cylindrical hole of the first part as the second selection you have the possible standard mates listed between these two faces the most appropriate one is a concentric mate to align the axis of both the features as concentric accept say ok and if you click on move component try to move the part around the y direction it's fully constrained along x it's constrained however it is free to move along the x direction the two degrees of freedom along x and along y and z are constrained you also have the rotational degree of freedom constrained along z and along y axis We would now like to constrain it along the x direction. We assign a mate relation. Select mate under SMD toolbar and in the property manager for the mate, make a selection of the faces on the right side of the plane bush and the face on the boss coming in on the housing, housing body. Under the standard mates, we have the coincident mate selected. That's the most appropriate mate for these two parts to get a line. Click OK. Let's say zoom to fit. Let's try to move it around in the X direction. We hold the part, the second component. And try to move it around in, along the x direction doesn't move indicating that the degree of freedom along x direction is fixed we now include the third part we'll try to open the part pushing Let's go to the menu window, tile horizontally. You have the window on the top as the bushing. Drag the component and drop it into the assembly file position where we need it. Maximize the window for the assembly file. Click on zoom to fit. We have the bushing going into the counter bow hole on top of the housing body. To mate the two parts, we select mate on the assembly toolbar. We pick, we pick up the external surface of the cylindrical boss on the bushing as a mate selection. The second, as any of these two inner surfaces of the, of the hole, we assign a concentric mate relation between the two. Click on OK. We have got the X and the Z direction constraint. We try to constrain the movement along the Y direction. We select mate under assembly toolbar. Pick up the top face of the bushing. The top face on the housing body and assign a, 
a made coincident click ok that constrains the bushing along the three directions along x y and z this is the y direction it doesn't move around x and z were fixed in the previous step let's click on uh, is isometric view have a look at the section view with the front plane as a section we have got the two parts some gap between the two at the start of the drill hole another section view for the plane bushing this is how the parts look like in an assembly that completes the assembly in SOLIDWORKS save your work it's rebuild as we save, save this the file type is .asm or .sldasm this is uh, an assembly file extension click on save that completes the module number 8